we always make sure that I don't forget. And ladies and gentlemen, my name is Sharon Whiteman. It's um, a great privilege and a pleasure for me to host this call with my partners, Gary Knapp and Diana Hunter. We love being here with you. And um, we're indeed very, have a special training this morning uh, that I'm very glad to see so many people starting to arrive now. Um, this is part two of a training that uh, was done a couple weeks ago on how to fill your funnel. For those of you that missed part one, I put the link in the Facebook event. Otherwise, um, just message me and I'll get you the link direct for part one. So I think probably everybody here will know James and Naomi, but I never uh, miss an opportunity to edify and, and celebrate some of our great leaders in Manitech, Australasia and around the globe. James Hannon went from believing the lie of the corporate career, believing that if he looked after the company and his bosses, they would look after him. One day he started to believe his gut or his inner voice telling him that things weren't good and he needed to do something and do it fast. That's when he decided he needed to change the way he was treating his little sideline business and give it more focus. He plugged into the training, removed all distraction and gave it all he had. He took his business from paying him a maximum of 800 per month to over 10,000 per month within 14 months and has continued to grow it from there all in his part-time was holding a full-time job. James has traveled the world with his daughters, now has major leaders in six countries, is dedicated and committed to Manitech and to all of us, and that's why he's here today. His partner in business, Naomi and Eppleton, is a founder of the Work From Home Yummy Mummy, and I'm a social entrepreneur. She is married to Christian, and they have three great kids. She's been successful in her own businesses for many years, but didn't want the long hours, the startup costs, and the stress. She wanted to simplify her life find something that she was passionate about and that would also impact the lives of others. After months of searching online for a good home business opportunity, Naomi found Manitech. Naomi now makes an incredible income, has the most fantastic lifestyle and freedom through the Social Entrepreneur Program. Her business nourishes hundreds of children every month. She has earned multiple trips, has been rewarded with generous gifts, and it's her dream come true. Naomi especially loves the freedom to work around her children's schedules, She's a successful businesswoman from the comfort of her own home and in the hours that she chooses. So Naomi and James, thank you again so much for being here for all of us. My pleasure. My pleasure too. <laughs> so I'll go off camera and get my notebook and um, I'll just be learning. Thank you so much. Mm. Well, as you can see, guys, I'm here. I've got my headphones on because I've lost my other ones. Uh, but these, you see all the kids walking around. They, they've got, you know, this going on. So I think I'm looking kind of hip and cool today. Uh, no comments from you, Naomi, at all, and anybody else that is on today's webinar. Uh, so great to be here. Just finished a couple of hours. So this is my usual get up. It seems to be on a, a Saturday morning. Uh, after training for a couple of hours with the, my local guys here in um, martial arts, so that's kind of fun. So, do you want to? We're going to open. So let me show my my slides here. Oh, uh, Sharon, could uh, yeah. you? Um, thank you. Great, thank you. PowerPoint is, ah, there it is there, okay. Okay, sorry guys, couldn't see my slides, so. Almost there. This this goes to show that anybody you don't have to be uh, amazingly intelligent. You can be me, and anybody can build this business. So uh, today we're going to be sharing more on the funnel. As last week we got right into laying the foundation of that. Today we're going to go even more into that. Now, also, if you're a member of M Life, you would have been on the webinar or if you missed the webinar that we did last week, you need to get it, which was um, 
the, the Facebook groups mastery, how to, because that will link in to what we're talking about today. And that's for all M Life members. So if you're not an M Life member yet, make sure you do that. You'll, you'll get all of that information in there. But today's the funnel. So um, what, I'm going to hand it over to my partner in crime here, and I am going to jump in and you, yeah, and 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 fill in any gaps when she allows me to. So, all uh, <laughs> yours. Oh, okay. Thank you, James. I never know what to expect with James, but uh, yeah, just be ready. That's, that's all I know is just be ready. Just go for it. Um, so this is actually uh, something that I shared at the Energize event. If you were there, um, you'll get double of it and, and maybe reinforce some of the things that we that I sort of talked about there. And we'll get a little bit more in detail because this is only a sort of a shorter segment. But um, the funnel for me has has really been the success of, of my business. And I know for James and I know for Ty um, and, and for many others that the funnel is, is vital for your business. Um, because I, I, many times, you know, you can go out, you're speaking to people, they're interested, but, um, you know, they don't, they're not ready at that point in time. And, and you can actually then that's it, you know, you, you've lost that person, you've lost that connection and, you know, you, you, you never know when they would possibly come on down down the track. And so, you know, for me, I was talking about um, a lady there called Bernadette and um, she's, she's now a, a silver director. Executive. Executive. <laughs> Maybe even even presidentials get confused about the new. Um, I just had that the, the old ones are so ingrained in my head, um, and you know she's only just been building the business maybe seven months, um, and just earned herself the trip to Fiji. And so you know with Bernadette though, four years prior. She kind of, that was where we made our first contact. And had I not had her in my funnel, well, that would be the end of it. You know, we would have, we would have never kind of got to that point. But four years later, so she first contacted me about the fat loss. Four years down the track after her, what do I'm doing? You know, being part of the group, getting some emails. Um, that she she reached out when I put up a post about starting a 90 day challenge. She reached out to me and said, "Yeah, I, I think I'm ready now." Um, and it's that that connection there. She was at the point in her time where she was ready to to go for it. And so we've got to remember that because you know, it's, if, even if someone's not ready at that point, you want to kind of keep them. And, and the funnel is, is not the nicest word. I, you know, I don't like it. You, can, you might say keep them around the campfire kind of thing. So keep them there. Keep, keep them some information. Keep that relationship happening with them. And, you know, in that time, obviously, I was still connecting, but not like hammering her. I, you know, I like her stuff and comment on her things on Facebook. Um, and so she came on board to start the 90 day challenge, had some amazing results on the products, loved the products, decided to build the business and, and, um, you know, it went from there. So, and, and this happens to me all the time with, with people, like I, mm. people can even right from the beginning. So six, seven years are sometimes still contacting me. Um, so this is what we want to teach you on is not just to think short sighted in your business. Um, because they, a lot, you can kind of get stuck with that kind of short side of let me get that sale now to actually bringing them around that campfire, keeping that relationship going, keeping that information and a lot of, a lot of the time, like I'll go into more um, detail on that, is, is that, that education as well. And, um, you know, it's such a powerful thing. Did you want to add anything there, Jane? Yeah. Because it's it's exactly right. Because like I just had in this last uh, this last couple of days, I'm actually and I'm experiencing the exact same thing. Is that people will follow you? They may even chat with you and say, "I want to get ready." This is what's just happened to me recently. A guy said to me, probably 
two years ago we started chatting, wanted to get started, and then he went off into oblivion. You know, he never saw him again, didn't know what happened, and didn't respond to messages. And um, and uh, then he sends me a message, can I? I'm and 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 then he gets back to me a little while later and says, got some bad stuff going on. No worries, I kept the relationship going, and then sends me a message on Thursday night. I'm at training and he goes, uh, can I join right now? I want to join, these are his exact words, can I join right now? So who'd like to have a prospect send you a message saying that? Just raise your hand, you know. Um, <laughs> um, that's, that's, do we have the hand raising ability? Oh, we do, okay. Uh, that, that's the kind of thing that we're talking about here and now here's an interesting thing I did though, and um, I've been a little bit uh, focused on other aspects of my business lately, which has been more administrative as we've been launching M Life, as I've been launching my martial arts business or Dojang, it's just something I do, I love it. Um, but also the amount of travel, I've traveled so much the last two months, it's been crazy. Uh, so I haven't had as much time to put into my social media and my presence on Facebook as what I would normally do. But this week, I made this decision that I'm, go I, I am, I am, I'm going to up that because I've got something that's important to me that I want to do. And so I upped the amount of stuff I was putting on social media. And some of you may have seen that. My posts now have been a little bit funnier. You know, I did this thing with my sunglasses on. I kind of looked like, thought I looked like a blowfly. Um, you know, the, we've got some nice comments, some funny comments, and some no do, don't do it comments. Um, and, you know, just if the interaction on my Facebook profile went up, and I did the same on my page. And then because of that, I've actually got people being in contact with me again now. So not just that one person in the last 24 hours, I had another three come to me and say, can you tell me what it is you do? And now they wouldn't ask that if I didn't position myself correctly, which is like saying I, if I had Manatech all over my Facebook profile, they wouldn't be doing that. My prospects offline are doing exactly the same thing. People coming to me offline and online. So what you do offline is what you do online. They're both exactly the same. Uh, so don't, don't get caught up thinking you have to be a different person. Just be, just be who you are and be smart about it. We have a lady in our team, her name's Tracy, you know, doing just what her natural person, she's like a, loves the, the garden, loves the gardening, uh, you know, and, you know, Naomi, how good is her gardening stuff? You know, you look at her, mm. it's like, you, she, she brings in this harvest from her backyard, lives here in suburbia, just down the road from me, in fact, and she brings in this harvest from her backyard and, and she's got these three-legged carrots and beetroot and um, fennel and all this stuff that she's grown and now she's putting on her Facebook profile about how good lemon is for you and what it does to your body and building up her persona and building up her profile and her brand that way. Such a smart way of doing the business and that's that's part of our Facebook profile mastery. If you haven't got that, that's also in part of M Life as well, which will teach you about positioning yourself on Facebook. But remember how you are in real life be that person online as well. Don't be some cuckoo. Don't, seriously, don't don't be somebody. Um, just be just be the best side of you. Be the the positive side of you, the smiling side of you, not the depressed, angry side of you. Forget that person. Never let it. <laughs> never let that one out of the box. Never let anyone know that was even there. Okay, just suppress that. Hide it away in a little box somewhere, and then one day go and become a psychopath, and later on. But um, sorry, that's me having some fun. Is that okay, guys? Just give me a little wave if it's okay for me to have a little bit of fun and you guys have a bit of a laugh. Is that okay? Okay, great. All right. Um, you guys get it. That's awesome. So, you know, but always doing the best side of you uh, out. And so, anyway, that's just understanding what, what's, what we're teaching here today is actually happening for us right now. This is real stuff uh, and it works. So, let's get into this. Uh, we've laid the foundation. <laughs> You know, uh, and uh, I mean, we we want people to buy our stuff, don't we? And, and uh, you know, I've just had to laugh here. But, you know, many times it's like, please, please buy my stuff. 
you know, we just, like I said, focused on that short term thing and like, oh, please, you know, buy, buy what I've got, buy what I've got. And we kind of get desperate. And guess what? Your, your, your prospects or potential clients or business partners pick up on that. Um, mm-hmm. and, and kind of we, 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 we're at this point that we kind of, you know, you, you, you're so desperate for that person's um, sign up that, you know, you kind of come across that way. And then we get to the next stage and it's like, pretty please, I'm desperate. <laughs> Um, you know, has anyone ever felt like that? You know, you, you, you want to get some goal and you, you know that, that this pro- these products are going to be so good for that person and they're not quite at that point and it really comes across. And so what we want to show you is, in this is, is how to bring them into the funnel to not necessarily get that sale right off and look, you know, we, we, all, want, we all want to, you know, have our grow our business but to do it in a real kind of authentic way that has people you know reaching out to you as well I mean and I'll, I'll talk about the two different ways of of how you build your business but um, you know it, it's so powerful when when you can do that you bring them in like I, I woke up to two messages this morning one lady says I haven't really had a chance to look at everything but I'm ready to go for it I'll just get the products um, you know, and so it, it, that's nice, you know, because I brought them into that funnel and overnight, I guess she was looking at some stuff and decided, yep, I'm ready. And I, you know, I wasn't doing anything. I wasn't pretty pleasing her. Um, you know, it, it, she just contacted me. And so that's what we're wanting to show you. And, and it's not a short term solution, um, but it's something that, you can start now and and really grow on. You know, I remember, and this is the pretty please. I'm going to tell you my story of pretty please because I have seen here. I have the t-shirt, not just my my club's t-shirt, but I have the actual t-shirt of pretty please, and it's this. Um, it went like this, and I did this a couple of times. Um, if you're ready to get started, I'll pay your getting started fee. That's pretty please. Okay, um, they never committed to buying a product. They never committed to turning up to a training or anything. All they said is, sure, you can pay my $50, no problem at all, because I don't have to pay it. That was my pretty plea. So we've all been there. I had, so my story, my first three people was, the first person I signed up was my mum. Okay, now she's in heaven dancing with Jesus. So she's having a good old time up there. But, you know, mums love us, so they're always going to join, right? Well, hopefully, anyway. The second person to join up was uh, uh, this poor sales rep who moved, in, who came and saw me at my office when I used to have a job. And, uh, and I was so desperate to make a sale, I said, I'll pay for your registration fee. And the third person to sign up was a staff member. And I told her that she has to join up because I would sack her if she didn't. So, okay, I'm just letting you know, we've all got our stories. These are, you know, uh, I've done it. It's real. And uh, so, yeah, don't do the pretty please. I think that would actually be a cute T-shirt, to tell you the truth. <laughs> pretty, pretty. You would be. You know, you <laughs> with that little cat on it. Yeah, we'll make that the next, um, we'll make that the, the M Life shirt. We have M Life <laughs> Pretty Please. And people will go, what, what's that? <laughs> yeah, exactly. And that's actually part of marketing, which we get to now, um, yep. is getting people to, to ask the questions. But so, so there's two ways of building your business. And, and I wanted to explain this first, because this is really key to understanding these two ways. Um, when, when you're, you know, you, you, you want to build your business, you want to do something for the day, to understand what marketing is and what prospecting is and, and you know, in how you can use them life within that um, or whatever you're doing, this is valuable for, for anybody. Um, and so marketing, I think the next slide, James. Oh, sorry, prospecting. Um, so prospecting is active. So by that I mean that you're actually actively either texting somebody, you're actively 
you know, you go up to somebody offline, make that connection, you actively send a, a, a message on Facebook. Um, so it's, a, it's an active way of, of reaching out to people and making that contact. Now, this is really important because some people want to sit back and go, oh, I'll just mark it all day and hopefully <laughs> someone will come to me, hopefully. You know, I'll wear the T-shirt and maybe someone will ask me the questions. Um, and, and, you know, that works to a, a, a degree and we'll show you how, you know, to do that marketing. Um, but prospecting is vital. Um, and the great thing about prospecting, if you've, if you've got your funnel um, so beautifully full, it's so easy to prospect them um, because, it, you know, it, you, you prospect to get people into the funnel, but then, you know, there's times where I actively prospect within the funnel. Um, so I'm actively reaching out to people, not just waiting for that message like I got this morning, um, but I'll actively reach out to people. Um, and so also, you know, to bring people into the funnel, it's about being active in that. And James, you're so, you know, so good at this. So you go to a cafe and James is right up there prospecting somebody, um, you know, and also online. So do you want to just share some of your sort of mm. tips around that? Yeah, so let's get into this. This is the part I love, guys, for me. Um, Okay, so let's talk about prospecting. So prospecting is, so I, I'm at the cafe, uh, there'll be a lady across from us and uh, we're, we're doing a meeting on our own stuff and then I see a lady over at another cafe, at another table and I, as I walk in, I'm always looking. If you were at a cafe with me, you would notice that when I walk in, I check my surroundings. Now, yes, that's part of the thing that's been built into me after however many years of martial arts but I'm also looking in there going, I'm looking at the people. I enjoy people. So I'm in there, I walk in, I'm, I've got a smile on my face, right? And people notice a person that's happy. They notice a person that's having a laugh. They always do. And I'm a loud laugher. I am. I, I, I laugh loud, hey. I do laugh loud. I, I, I'm a loud laugher. So I'll walk in and uh, this lady, she was doing her... her, her uh, uh, study and I know she was just doing some psychology stuff. I, I, I called out to the other side of the uh, uh, cafe. It was about probably four, four or five meters away. So it wasn't, this, this section wasn't very big. And I said, oh, what are you studying? Because there's nobody else around. What are you studying? She goes, oh, I said, no, actually that looks deep. With a big smile on my face. She looked up, realized I was smiling and I was real. Okay. And she said, oh, I'm doing childhood psychology or something weird like this. And uh, and I said, oh, cool. Oh, our company is that we just completed a, a double blind placebo controlled study on brain cognition and how nutrition affects the cognitive processes of our brain. Now, that's as deep as I go, guys. That's as deep as I go. I'm just letting you know that that's pretty much what I said. I've got, but you can validate that, hey? Uh, yeah. And, and, and so I went and sat down next to her. So I'm over on one table. I couldn't hear a response. So I just got up from my table and I went down and sat down right next to her and talked to her. Now, I wouldn't recommend that, but there are other things you can do. So another time I'm at a cafe, I was doing some training with some of my team. I said, okay, you used this script. And they go, oh, that script wouldn't work. So what I did, I said, excuse me, to the table next to me. This was my script, okay? This is being active. When you want this business, you will do it. I practice my smile in front of the mirror. I can't tell you how many times I've told you guys this. I practice my smile. I practice my expressions. I practice everything in front of the mirror. At martial arts, I practice my strikes, my kicks, my elbows. I practice everything in front of the mirror and I see what, what isn't great and, and I fix it. Okay, and so, I said, so they said that wouldn't work. So I leaned over to the table next to me and said, excuse me, can you help me with something? I'm smiling. Who's not going to help a person that goes, excuse me, politely, humbly, and with a smile? And they said, sure, what do you need? So I said, we're about to launch a product into the market. And I want some feedback from just some locals before we do this. Um, would it, do you mind asking, answering a couple of questions for me? I won't take much of your time. I said, sure. And they said, okay. I said, awesome. I said, we've been doing a lot of research in the area of fat loss. And what we've noticed is that 65% of the population is overweight or obese right now. They went, oh, yeah, I, I know that. So well, the problem is when a person loses weight, half of the weight they lose is muscle. In fact, up to 75%. 
So we have a product we're about to launch, we've just launched, that makes the body burn three times more fat than muscle. Now, it doesn't taste great, but do you think we could get a market for a product like that if it was guaranteed to work? They said, yes, how do I get it? That was their exact response. I told them, they gave me their details. Now, a couple of minutes later, they came back over the table and said, sorry, I don't really know you. Can I have my phone number back? <laughs> <laughs> well, it was a great example. Now, I, but I've done that so many times in cafes where people don't mind um, giving me their details and they leave their details with me and I send them some information or add them to a Facebook group. Now, that's part of Facebook mastering, but active is important. Uh, I've taken enough time on that one, do you think? Yeah, well, the other thing um, with that is a great script that because I can't. Often, I don't know if it, you, anyone else is like this. Put your hand up if you are. You get to someone and you, and all of a sudden you forget every script that there was. I'm still like that. So just so you know, if you're like that, you're in good company. Um, and so, but I find the simplest thing to to use is is just, hey, I might have something that can help you with that. If I would you so just being curious and, and just being friendly, you know, and not even thinking of this person's going to be a prospect. Um, just just being friendly and just and and curious is the word actually. Um, I actually I, I've started to actually be more curious as I get out, and it might and it might not lead to anything. That's okay, but you just never know. So just being curious, and I, I know Christy, she's on here. Um, she's amazing at that and she you know she she really is interested in other people and and you know it's just such a beautiful quality and so be curious about people and then a really simple thing is look I might have something that can help you with that if I added you into a group on Facebook or if I sent you um, an audio to listen to would you use that um, and Leonie well done Leonie that's awesome. Um, so it's such a simple thing. So if you can't, if you're like me and you get in and you go, oh, what do I say to this person? Just use that. I might have something that can help you with that. If I would you. Simple and as if that. You also, and if you want to add, if you want to go the inquisitive approach in a cafe where you don't know what they want, but you actually just want to get in there and go and try and sharpen your, 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 your skills, and you want to use what I just said, hey, look, we're launching a product in the market. It goes, we're launching a product in the market. If there was a product that made the body burn three times more fat, would you want to know about it? If there was a product that was guaranteed to give you more energy, would you want to know about it? Hey, could you give me some help before I launch my product? If there was a product that was guaranteed to improve your child's immune system, would you take, would you give it to your child if it was safe and healthy? Who likes those? Give us a little wave. Good. Okay. Good. Oh, she's tasted the time. And just another quick example there is, um, you know, for example, on Facebook. So I connected with this personal trainer about a year ago or, or whatever. Um, and so my prospecting to him was just being friendly. So for about a year, just being friendly, asking him, what, oh, what do you do? What? So tell me more about your programs. You look oh, and just complimenting what he's doing, um, liking his stuff, connecting that way. And when we got back from the US, I said, "Hey, look, you know, we're looking for key people in the area. Um, about going to launch um, Impact Plus. I didn't just call it Impact Plus, um, but anyway, along those lines. And would you do you want to catch up for coffee?" There we are. Because I've kind of developed that relationship, it was nothing about products for all of that time. It was just about connecting. Um, he was really open and yes, he's come on board, doing great and we're, we're doing some good things in the cost area. So prospecting is active. You might not always get to that point about product quite quick, as quickly, um, but you know, you, it's, it's about bringing people in and connecting there. And then we have marketing. So marketing is actually the, the passive side of what we do. So, you know, it, it's um, putting something out there and hoping somebody responds. So, for example, if you put a post on Facebook 
Um, now, I'll, uh, uh, make sure you do that, that Facebook mastery because I don't recommend saying the product name on Facebook. People just go and Google it and decide whether they want it and they might even buy it online. So um, I recommend, you know, talking about the benefits of a product and you can even show it. One of my best posts is showing plus in my hand and talking about what it does for me. Um, so that's, that's passive. You're putting something out there and you might, it might be like one of the, the links or things from M Life, um, like a quiz or something like that. So you're putting something out there and hoping that somebody replies to that. And, you know, that's really powerful. It's a great way, but you've got to combine it with the prospecting all at all times as well um, because they, they really work together. So there's, there's that marketing um, and then there's the prospecting. Um, and so within that, within the marketing, um, you know, it, you can, there's a few different things that you can do. So you can do a story. So, you know, sharing a testimony, so, so powerful. Um, you know, if you're not in the M Life group, it's the, the free group, so you don't even have to join and, and we're putting like great tips and stuff. Ty's just put a great tip in there on how to say, say things this morning. Um, so, you know, if you're not in there, just get in there and, and you don't even have to be part of M Life yet. So, um, it's called, um, the M Life and, and you should be able to Google that and find that group. Um, so, so that, so you're sharing a story and, and, you know, then, then, um, you know, a little bit of a call to action or you're sharing something of value. Um, and so a, a value I mean like it could be like an inspirational post, it could be um, some tips, it, it could be, um, you know, that there's, there's lots of different things that you can give to bring value to, you know, your, your, the people that follow you. Um, so did you want to say anything more on that, James? No. Okay. <laughs> All right, we'll keep going. Okay, so where do you find people? And this is what everyone's like, well, where do I find people? How do I bring people into that, that funnel um, or around that campfire? Um, so there's lots of different ways that you can do that. I don't recommend being an expert on all of those ways because, you know, you learn one really well. Um, I'm, still, I'm still a bit stuck on Facebook because it works for me. I could do a little bit of Instagram, done a little bit of Pinterest, but Facebook is the place that seems to work for me. So um, probably learn one of them if you're doing any kind of social media, but you can see there's lots of different like social media areas. So whatever, you know, really speaks to you, then do it because you'll get leads from any of those. We just... Um, one of one of the the M Lifers this morning said she put a quiz up on um, on LinkedIn and got a lead straight away. Um, so you can do it from anywhere. So you've got Pinterest, Facebook, um, Instagram, um, blogs. They're kind of that the, the online kind of thing. But thinking about lots of other ways, you know, friends and and um, and. We'll talk, talk about Phil and Patsy's um, way. Maybe, James, you can share that. But in homes, there's ads. You can do local magazines, um, workshops. So we're actually going to do a workshop here in Coffs Harbour. Um, so it's just a value-based workshop. And there'll be a little bit of the, the product is bringing on people for the 60-day the challenge. But, you know, it's really about bringing a lot of value in the workshop um, so not a workshop about Manatech. Um, it's going to have different topics that kind of relate back into Manatech. Um, and of course, there's markets, which at markets, I mean, many of you do this and you're, you're more skilled, but it's really important to be gathering people's information more than just selling them that product. Um, uh, people you buy from. Now, that's a great thing, you know, you think about that. People that you buy from, they, it's that law of reciprocity. What is it? Reciprocity. <laughs> reciprocity. Um, so if you buy from them, you know, they are interested in what you've got. <laughs> um, other colleagues at work, uh, fate, 
and just people you meet at coffee shops and things like that. But James, did you want to share about Phil and Patsy, what they do with Mm. Potluck? You know, guys, it doesn't have to be, remember this, we're not teaching you our way. We're giving you ideas to develop your way. I hope you get that. So we're showing you what we do. But one of the reasons I developed my system for my team, which is called dual networking, is it's offline and online working together. Two things. Um, But it's personal development and skill development working together. Uh, Friends and family working together. It's two people, two situations working together. Now, why did I do that? Because what I found in, in my own experience was I realized that not everybody was the same. And the old way of building a network marketing business was that do it my way or get out of the way. That was it. That that was all it was. And yes, the monster organizations uh, were built, especially in the big A and things like that. But they had different things around that. And the industry has definitely changed since then. And people have changed since then, especially with the advent of the internet. Now, in, in that, you've got to figure out, well, what's your strength? So, for instance, if I went to Ty when Ty came on board, is that, okay, forget about using the internet to build your business and blogs and copywriting, which is what Ty is exceptional in, um, he wouldn't have joined my team. If I went to Naomi and said, you, and, and then I, I forced it down her throat, that you must only build a list talking to people and the people that you know, then she would have left and gone and joined Herbalife or somebody else, right? But because I knew that um, it was really about allowing a person to have their strength, that's what then I went, okay, well, I need to be the leader. Do I need to know everything? No, I don't know as much on copywriting. I'm nowhere near as good on copywriting as Ty. And I'm not knowing, you know, I look at what Naomi does. I'm nowhere near as good as what she does with her, the, the Facebook pages and groups and that. The, the women really just are amazing at it. But what am I good at? Well, I'm good at bringing people together and then taking their strength and helping them to use their strength. That's my strength. So think about that then. So what I do is I go to an individual, I find out what their strength is and I develop their strength. I take that strength, that interest, that, that, that desire that they have and then I work with them to build that and make that uh, who they are. It, it, so I hope you get that. So it's like looking at, well, who am I? What am I good at? And this should only take you a minute. Don't get caught up, oh, I need to go and do a life coach thing and get someone who teaches you how to do something that's never done a thing of themselves in their life. Now, guys, stop following personal coaches on Facebook and on all these other things that tell you how, how to break free in life. I can guarantee you they haven't. Stick to your upline. Follow the system, okay? What you have here works. Anyway, that's just my pet annoyance in that area. Um, so what you want to be doing now is going, okay, uh, I'm going to build my strength. So let's look at a strength that a couple of my team have, Phil and Patsy Walton Brown. It's a thing called a potluck. I'd never heard of a potluck before. I didn't know what it was until they told me about it. And some people laughed at me, including Naomi, uh, that I'd never heard of what that was. And what would happen is they would bring their team together and they, everyone would bring a, food, a, a dish of food. That was it. And so uh, what they do now is they're rolling this out within their team where, the, where people say, well, come to my place, bring some food. A group of us are getting together. We're going to talk about health, wealth, and, and future. We're just going to hang out, have a glass of wine. We're going to have a beer. We're going to have some, something to eat. Someone's going to share a bit of a testimony. And it's so easy. Like it's such a simple thing because people want to belong. They want to belong to something. And you can't build a true community online. You can build a virtual community, but you can't build a true community. What do I mean by that? People are craving to meet you belly to belly, face to face. That's why people meet on Facebook and then they crave to meet the person face to face, sit down, have a coffee with them. You can start it online, you can build it online, but you must get it offline and then bring it back online again. So that's what it's about. It's about finding the strength. Now, like, so we're still in Patsy. Now what mm. we're doing is working out how to expand that out. So it's not just 
building something online, you must get in front of people. So for us, we're using online here in our local community to build something up. Then we're going to take it offline to like yesterday, we had a coffee meeting today at three o'clock, we've got a team get together, you know, so even though we do a lot online, it's still everything. Get in front of your team, build that community, build that culture that this is a place where people can hang out. Next. Okay, so so you've you've found the people in all of these places, um, and then then what do you do with them? Um, and so how do you actually start to bring them into this funnel? Um, so one of the ways that I do, if I'm offline, I will get my phone and I'll say, hey, let's connect on Facebook. Um, so I've just started a, a bit of a you know, it, we might have got to that they're a topic that they're they're wanting, but if not, I'm going to still connect with them on Facebook because I I want to I want to continue that that relationship on Facebook. I, want, I don't want to just that's it. I'm, I'll never see them again. So straight away, I open up my phone. They type in their name. I send them a friend request right there and then. Um, that's how we start the connection. Um, so connect with people on Facebook is the best way that I've found, as well as like these other the the other ways. But connecting with them on Facebook to continue either that relationship, or to you know if you've got to that point where you use that script, is to then add them into a Facebook group. Um, that's so powerful. I can't tell you how powerful that is. And remember, you have to start somewhere. So don't, don't, you know, it's it's a it's a great thing that you can use. Um, and then also your lead capture pages, which you get in M Life, is another way. So this is something that I've always done. So you know, have them in the groups, but also get their, you know, their email address. So so that or send them to one of the pages that we've we've had. It's all in one system now, so it's so easy. And we've got more coming. Um, I'm just working on a, the hormone thing, and I know James is also working on that and got um, sort of a gut funnel coming. So lots coming in there as well, which I'm super excited about. Um, yeah, so, and, and, and again, know, the Facebook groups was, um, the, and it is to understand the Facebook groups is that we started with the first uh, training around Facebook groups for the members last year weekend or last week so if you don't know how to use Facebook groups you're going to be blown away with the information that's in there already on that. Yeah and we've got part two coming this week as well. Um, so you know this this is how you're kind of bringing them in into that that funnel so that you can keep that connection happening um, and then we go down to the next part with what do you do so once they're in there, what do you do then? Um, so you've got your new prospects, and like, I, I know sometimes you, you know people don't like that name. It's just a name for this purpose. Um, it's definitely not something. Oh, you're my prospect now. Um, you know, it's not something that I use outside of there. It's, that's it's not you know it sounds yucky, but you know it's just a purpose of labelling this, and so is the word funnel. For some reason, that's not showing right for me. I can't actually see what's on the other side. I don't know what's wrong there. Oh. Can everybody else see that slide properly? On the left or on the right? What can't on, you the, see? on the left. Yeah, half of it too. Oh. Maybe we have to go Hold back on. and forth. I'll go back one and see. Oh, that's better. Okay, so bringing them into here. So you've got somebody that's come in, um, you know, they've got lots of questions there. And so your your purpose within that is less questions, more interest. And um, so if you do that through like an informational, educational kind of sales funnel. And the great thing about InLife is it kind of does a lot of that automatically, which is awesome. But you, you again, don't let marketing do your job for you because you, that, you, you need to keep that active prospecting where you're, you know, on the phone to people, connecting with people offline and um, starting those conversations. Um, but these are some of the things that can be done. So we've 
webinars are great to kind of bring people, invite people to find out more information, um, sending them to a presentation, some sort of call to action within in that, that group. So, so even we, we want to still be having calls to actions, um, calls to actions. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> so want to have a call to action, workshops, you know, just, just what we we're talking about with James. So, so for example, like we're going to be bringing people into an online a, a Facebook group um, to then bring them offline to have that workshop. But that's where we, if they don't, need, if they don't get to that workshop, they're still in the group, um, but that's going to lead to the workshop. Um, testimonies, so lots of testimonies within this this funnel. You you want to be giving people lots of testimonies. Um, educate people, so educate them on the importance of number one, why they they need to have nutrition. Um, well, we're all good at that, you know, but educating them um, as to the importance of our products, you know, and and helping them understand that. Um, tours, so within the M Life system, you, they they get to go on little tours, which is so cute. It's like I'm going on a tour, um, and they can go through the different aspects of the M Life um, value add. So, and this is really key because sometimes um, we can go over the, over the top on on education, but start to think about how you can add value. So if you've got a group, what sort of value can you add into that group? And it might be, it might be what you're learning here. So if you've got like if if it's a business group, it will um, be about the the. Um, some value that that you can offer within that, and it might you know use use what you're learning today to, to offer value into your your group. Um, just on that, uh, Naomi. Website. Just what what you just said, guys. I can't see how many times if you look at stuff I write, the videos I do, and I know Naomi, you're the same, and I know Ty is exactly the same. Is that when you're listening to something and learning something, it's the absolute best time to do an article or a live video on it, okay? Become the expert yourself. You've just learnt it, use it, teach it, okay? Learn it, use it, teach it. Learn it, use it, teach it. That's the best thing to do and then analyse it. Um, so you're going to, um, uh, that's going to allow you now, you, you should have, like almost a year's worth of content you can be start you can actually position yourself as an online guru now with what you're learning and it doesn't have to be you coming across as what i do is you know with tens of thousands of leads all that stuff you don't need to do that or because that wouldn't be true but you can start sharing you know my mentors i've just learned this from my mentors and for those of you that want to know i used it and this is what happened so be aware of that so this is such a powerful way for you right now to start to give value back. I'm just on this webinar with international speakers or international trainers. I learned this. I'm so excited. I'm on this webinar right now learning about Facebook or funnel marketing to have an unlimited source of leads and customers coming to me. So excited. <laughs> I'm just laughing at Kate comment in there <laughs> looking red today must be the, the hat <laughs> back to front and the earphones <laughs> um yeah, baby. so we websites so sending them to to the different websites and 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 like within that i don't recommend going to the manatech website or anything i'm talking about you know like the the M life websites emails so um continually you know get it getting those emails out to people uh videos um and call so you know that's that's the thing like you want to be getting on the phone to people because that's where you start that that one-to-one -one connection especially if, and if they're local then you want to get in front of them coffee um it's the best thing to do <laughs> oh dear <laughs> um so you know as you're kind of doing all that and some people you know they're ready to go straight away you know that it doesn't take that long and you know that Yep, I'm ready now. 
and other people, they like to stay in this for a while. It might be one, two, three, four, five years, but we're not going anywhere. So, you know, keep them in there and keep committed to this way because it really does work. Um, so, you know, pretty much if I'm, if I'm going on like a really 90 day, which at the moment I am in, in 90 days, really actively going hard I, I have a huge funnel of people that I can contact and, and then I also bringing more so you want to also at, at any time have minimum of 50 people in here and that sounds like a lot but if you're continually you know one to two a day um, and then you're continually bringing them in so I'm still bringing you know those in all the time um, you can see how big it can get, and so, and then you know they're they're they've created you've created that interest. They're getting less questions. They're ready to decide, and so that's where you start the options of getting started. <clears throat> For example, like this lady that messaged me this morning. Um, so now I'll help you with the options for getting started. Get on the phone call and take her through her options for getting started. Um, so yeah, that's that's um, how that kind of works. You know, guys, this is the thing: it's, it's it's understanding that everything that you do, you've got to under, uh, write down. For me, what I do is I write down how is it going to look. Now, sorry, guys, I take my phone because that was just me having some fun. Again, please don't get so stiff up in the collar that you know you can't have fun. All right, um, you want to attract fun people you want to attract people that have got life <laughs> you want to you want to bring some fun and have some laughter it's important uh and yes you can be serious you can absolutely be serious but you know you want to have some laughter yeah so let's 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 think about this for me what i like to do is i like to write everything out if i'm going to do something yesterday we're having a meeting and i was listening i'm in the meeting i was like it's not connecting to me what they want to do it's just not connecting and then all of a sudden, one word was said, oh, okay, we're going to do this. And it's like, okay, that's, that's the connection for me. And all of a sudden, I'm in because I can see where this is, the people are going to come from here, then they're going to come to here, then to here, and to here, and to here. You know, that's, for me, what I was looking for. And I didn't even know that's what I was looking for. It's just in my spirit, in my heart, whatever, my market is, gut. It just wasn't connecting. And then all of a sudden, that, yep, we're going to bring me to this Facebook group. For me, was, oh, that's my holding pen. That's where I'm bringing them. That's where I'm going to be able to massage the relationship and get to know them and then bring them over. So everything that you do is uh, your funnel. Everything that you're doing is some kind of funnel. But you need to know what your funnel is. Um, so then we get to the next part. So they join, yay, it's exciting. Everyone say yay, come on, be excited. Yay. Come on, get, get a customer or a business associate. Come on, tell me, yay. I want to see that. Come on, everybody. <laughs> yay. <laughs> no one's wanting to yay. Oh, there we go. There we go. Some yays coming in. Everyone's excited. Yeah, we all get excited. I get excited still. Um, you know, it's exciting. So, so that's, you know, really exciting. Part because someone's come into your family and um, and that's uh, they they and that's that's really what it is they're coming into your family and then the next part of the funnel so you've got this part and they come on and then you've got the next part okay and so the next part is and, and often you only see this part when it's trained but this is the really important part as well and so you don't want to sort of miss this part and so this is where you start to um they you you help create a loyalty within them and so a loyalty of the products of um the value of the products so you continue that education process so they've decided but you want to continue um that that education and and bringing them closer um you know in, into i guess um, that that more intimate place and and that connection. So again, like um, you know, you you, ha you might have your groups that support your clients. So so a different group and and that's a, a different group for you that supports clients. 
or you know your team group so that's where you come in and, and lots of connection and interaction in that that group or offline um, so you want to like Jane said bringing all of that getting face to face with them having those meetings getting to that person so when I enroll someone, and it's not always easy, guys, I'm a mum of three, um, but if I enroll someone, I, I try to get to them, you know, as quickly as possible. Um, and so I work out, okay, within my schedule and um, get to them. And sometimes that means driving four or five hours, just connecting with them and then driving back because that's all I can manage in my day. But, you know, it, aiming to get to people as quickly as possible. Not always easy when they're overseas, but you know that that's and then so you're creating that loyalty within your within your clients, within your business partners, um, and I like to really then educate them further on the products and the value of the products because if they really understand that, they they'll stick around, they'll love those products, and and that's where we want to go. And then from that loyalty which leads to the advocacy so that's where they start to wanting to you know your clients might want to start to to share or to refer um your business partners you know even though they've decided to join the business it doesn't mean they've decided to do the business so really understand that so that's that's where you know that that creating that loyalty and then um that advocacy so getting them to that point where, yep, I want to be an advocate of, of this. You know, I love it. I'm loyal to it. Um, I want to be there. And so, um, you know, that's really important. So, um, yeah, so guys, this is kind of the, the funnel as such um, to, to really help you know, grow your business and build your business. And I think we've got some questions coming in, but did you want to yep. say anything more there on that? No, but let's just answer some questions here. Hank's asked a great question. Do you just visit people locally? No, you know, um, Hank, now my team, as you know, is all over the place. And so I do my best to get to where things are really active. So I spend my time and my money and go to where it's active. And what's happening, I want to give everyone a tip. Write this down. Invest into your business. Let me say it again. Invest into your business. If you're making money from your business, you need to invest back onto it. So put 10% of the money you're making into a savings account. That's you saving. That is your retirement fund. That is your investment fund. Never touch it. Put it away somewhere in your superannuation, whatever you want to do. Then take a percentage of your income from Manatech and invest it into yourself and into your business. So buying resources, um, to read books, to listen to audios, get to events, doing what our team are doing, flying in from all over the country to come to Coffs Harbour for our mastermind event, events. You know, they're paying for their accommodation, their flights, you've got people coming from Perth, uh, into Coffs Harbour, that means they've got to catch two flights, they're both single mums with children, flying from Perth to Coffs Harbour. You know, so putting um, money back into your business is so important. So if you've got people that are active, you go where they're at. I can't tell you how many times I've been to Canberra, I've been to Rockhampton, I've been to Mackay, I've been to Brisbane, New Zealand, Singapore, USA, wherever your team is active, Sydney, you go. Now, um, and, but if you have potential in an area, you go there as well. So you, you, sometimes you may not have any action to go to, but you've got to reawaken it. And the way that you reawaken it is belly to belly, face to face. Nothing ignites someone better than belly to belly, face to face. But also nothing loses team members better than you never going to see them, okay? Keep keeping them, okay, um, is so important. Okay, keeping them, it means you've got to go see them. If you want to lose mm. them, don't go see them. That makes sense. Yeah, and I think you know, for me, the not that part of the reason why I really wanted to go local in a big way is to to go local so we can you know build build a good local team so it's not as much. But you know, I look at the Sydney area because I go there to visit my family a lot, so that's that's okay. Um, so looking at little pockets 
you know, where you might want to kind of develop a team and, and get them going, um, you know, as much as possible. But it, absolutely, like it's something I, I've always done. So right from the very beginning when yep. I was making like $200, I was like, right, I know I have to invest back into my business. And, and some people look at, you know, different costs within a business, even like M Life, and go, oh, no. Well, yeah, the investment that you make into your business will pay you back big time. And so when you invest in, in you know, I, I don't live near... Uh, I don't live near our local, like I don't live near Sydney, I don't live near Brisbane, um, seven hours to Sydney, six to five to or so to Brisbane, it's getting better all the time. Um, but I've always known that I, I have to get to every event. From day one, I was not earning a single thing. And I flew to Sydney because I knew that I had to get to events. And then as soon as I got a team, I'd, I'd get to them. And I can't always get, you know, all the time. And it does get costly, especially to, to different areas. Um, but, you know, where I can, I, I get to the, the, those people. And so, um, you know, do that for, for your team as well. And um, if, you, if you're, you really can't get out, then just really go hard locally and build yeah. something great locally so that you can you, know, everything. You, you can have that. But remember that your local people will start to bring people from other areas as well. So it's always good and to just know, okay, bring, bring um, yeah, make sure you're always thinking along that line. You're in business. I mean, I was in business and this was years ago, paying, I don't know, three or 4,000 in rent, probably four. I think it was, or four or five probably, yeah, it was a lot. Um, and all of the other expenses, staffing, electricity, any business person will tell you the, the amount that they have to pay to keep their business running. And we've got to start thinking that way. We are business people. So the, the more you can think like a business person in that we don't have a big investment to start off with. We really don't. And we kind of get away with a lot. Where, you know, any kind of business you're looking at hundreds of thousands of dollars, James can tell you. Um, and so, so, so remember that. You, you don't have a big investment to start off with, but you want to keep investing into your business. Um, to, to see it grow and, 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 and that's how you'll flourish you know the more you, you'll that, that investment will pay off and sometimes you can't always see it straight away but it will and um, you know that, that's like for me if you're not getting to all of the events um, you know that you, you need to be getting to the Amantic events because that's investing yep. into your business you know like I said it was seven hours for me to get to events but I, I did and um, we, we, flew you know, to, it's, we flew to Manifest. Manifest is 30 hours. You know, it's like, guys, just just do it. Get to your team. If you want to keep your team, you get to your team. If you don't want to keep your team, don't go and see them, period. Yeah. Point blank. So there uh, is a few questions. If you have any more questions, pop that in and, and we can answer that. I don't think we have a lot of time left because no. we've got another call to go on. Um, so, uh, Lara's asked, can I make a final conduct people to a free Zoom call where I present? Yes, you can, absolutely. We do that all the time, Lara. You just got to work that out. Um, on how but to just to remember that. that's not the be end to end all. So if they do come on the Zoom, you want to have them actually um, maybe come to the Zoom through uh, a landing page, so so through like the or, or through a group, um, so that they're in that they're they're still around the fire if they don't decide to come on, and and that's really the key there. So Shaz, we finished. Uh, well done. We'll hand it back. Back over to you, and yeah. Well, James and Naomi, we're so blessed uh, from uh, all of us from your contributions. Um, it's I know that it's going to make a big difference and continue to make a big difference in Australasia, because, ladies and gentlemen, those of you listening today are into the future. If you implement, just read this again and again and again. Listen again and again. These two parts, and there's also free training in the M Life group, um, and. If it's right for you, partner with M Life and get all the training, and you'll be blessed uh, with your action in combination with your growing knowledge and in combination with this incredible community. James and Naomi, thank you so much for being here. Um, it's 
um, a privilege and a blessing to work with you guys. Thanks so much. See you guys next week's Caroline. You're welcome. Thanks everyone. Bye guys.